excited to be here for Hong Tech. I don't know if you felt the same way I did when I first saw that uh, Hans Zeiger was, was going to run for state representative. I was just thrilled. This is going to be one of the most watched races in the state of Washington. I thought, you know, we really need some new leadership. And when I saw that Hans had si signed on, I just felt a sense of relief because we need that, that kind of leadership here. And what do the people of the 25th district deserve? They deserve a person who understands our community well, that understands its history, that understands who we were, who we are, and where we're going. If this was once a Democrat district, the conventional wisdom is that today it is a swing district. But that's wrong, because this year voters are going to demonstrate that the 25th district is Republican territory. All of us are aware of the real challenges to the future of our families, our schools, our businesses, and our community. A new generation of Americans is discovering that economic prosperity doesn't last forever. Our generation must be tested on the question that has faced every generation of Americans since our founding. It is the question of self-government. And too often, government has assumed that you and I aren't capable of much on our own. And so the task before us is the business of setting priorities. But these past few months, I have fallen more deeply in love with Puyallup than ever before. And uh, today, I know better than ever why my grandpa Ed always says that it's the people who make a community. And every person matters. Every day I go out door to door, I meet people from every walk of life and every point of view who wake up every day and live their lives as best they can. I hear stories about the daily struggles of good men and women. I'm fascinated by these people as they go about their lives, their course of human events. They carry within them this great drive to live with purpose. Government still derives its just powers from the consent of the governed. And that means, that means that the people of the 25th district have a choice in this year's election. I believe that government should live within its means, just as you and I have to live within ours. I believe that we can set priorities in state government in order to fund our most important public needs, public safety, K-12 education, and care for the most vulnerable. And I'm convinced that we can do that without raising taxes. I believe that we can do it without sacrificing other public priorities. I'll take the work seriously, but I'm counting on you never to let me take it too seriously. You know, Psalm 2 says that God looks down from heaven at the rulers of the earth and laughs. And I can't imagine anything funnier than the legislature when it's in session. And we should never lose our awareness that the really serious stuff is what happens in families and churches and small businesses and communities. Those institutions form the substance of liberty. And I happen to believe that those institutions are a heck of a lot better at caring for people than any bureaucracy ever was. So this evening, I am thankful to God that the land in which I have chosen to stand for public office is a free one. And I pledge to you my best efforts to help keep it that way. I thank you all for your support. Thank you.